agree among the 10 questions concerning the planning. So today I'd like to well, turn to the next subject, which is uh, uh, the deformation space of climate group, which is the subject of the three other questions. That's Actually, so, uh, it's, uh, it's so the, the, the three questions, six, seven, and eight, uh, all of which uh, concern the deformation space. So uh, maybe let me just uh, uh, state the question of the six, seven, and eight. So the six is something like that. So uh, is every Prime group. Well, here, here this, is, this is the final determination. Um, a limit of geometrical finite groups. So. Uh, so as, as you remember, so this, this is a natural question which should be asked in the case of the surface group, for instance. There the is AHS, the closure of the uh, QFS. So that, that's a natural question. And so this asks uh, the same of a general, finitely generated problem. And seven. This is a kind of the, the well, 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 this is also related to the quadruption group, but the, 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 well, the problem is something that we developed. Theory of Shakti groups and uh, their limits. Analogous to the theory of quadrifugian groups and their limits. So, uh, first one, so, you, so by, for instance, double limit theorem, so first one. Uh, <coughs> develop some theory of uh, uh, limits of the quadrifugian groups. And uh, so he should, well, I, I will define Schottky groups later, but the, the Schottky group is the uh, uh, free Kleiner groups. So the, this uh, question number seven is about uh, the uh, analogy of the theory of the surface Kleiner group in the, in, the, in the framework of the free Kleiner. So that, that's the question. That, that, that the number seven. The number eight is uh, this. So analyze limits of quasi Huxian groups with So, uh, well, um, if we consider the closed surface group or uh, uh, quadrifugian group corresponding to closed surface group, then uh, well, this we, we can you know you can you know that this acts this word accident this this. So ju just consider parallax. So uh, thi this problem is this question is uh, just uh, uh, well, wait, it's a bit ambiguous. So so well, what what do, 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 does he mean? Does he mean by the analyze? But uh, well, I will so um, show you that the, how, how we can interpret this the, this word analyze so later. So these three problems. Uh, concerned with uh, the deformation space of the frame groups. Okay. So let me start 
to be six, which is, whose meaning is a, is well, rather clear compared to the four. So, uh, um, let me um, remind you what the deformation space. So, uh, well, I use a symbol A H. So, uh, um, and uh, well, yesterday I also used uh, A H of S. But in general, so uh, for uh, for prime angle G, prime angle group G or a free manifold M, we can use this symbol AH of G or AH of M, which is defined as a, a set of physical discrete representations of G or G or pi 1 of M to PSA to T modular conjunctive. And we put that topology coming from the representation space. What's the meaning of AH? AH is uh, um, uh, uh, a, a stands for algebraic, uh -huh. and H stands for either hyperbolic or homotopy. <laughs> So, so, so uh, I think that the hyperbolic might be the right so answer. That, uh, who picked the daily names? Hmm? Who chose the daily name? Oh, that, that, that system. system. Oh, so that's okay. Okay. Anyway, so A, A stands for algebraic because we are considering the topology coming from the convergence, uh, uh, algebraic convergence. So uh, there's another notion of convergence, which is uh, geometric convergence. So uh, A stands for uh, so uh, algebra. So meaning we are considering topology coming from the algebra convergence. So uh, so in the, in the process of the proving the uniformization theorem, the system proves something more. Something related to uh, uh, crying group is following. So, uh, so this, this is the system, and uh, the, the, this is the step in the proof of the composition theorem, actually. So, uh, let G a crying group. Well, well I, I always assume crying group to be finitely generated and totally free. But for any crying group, for any crying group, there exists a uh, uh, geometrically, well, maybe minimally, well, I, I will explain what that is, minimally parabolic and geometrically finite. By, by Margulis' lemma, 
every public element, uh, well, well the every public subgroup in the, in the Kleiner group is either uh, uh, cyclic, infinite cyclic, or rank to uh, a variant. So uh, the minimal parabolicity means um, there is no uh, maximal infinite cyclic uh, parabolic structure. So uh, this is the so if you consider some Kleiner group, so you can so uh, consider you can consider a kind of deformation which uh, makes a parabolic element uh, as few as possible. And uh, what you can do is to remove all the parabolic elements contained in the, in the maximal parabolic uh, subgroup, which is uh, an infinite cyclic, and you can you can just just uh, make them uh, look sodomic, but you cannot remove the uh, parabolic subgroup of the rank two because uh, there's no look sodomic element uh, which is contained in the rank two uh, abelian subgroup. So uh, th this is the uh, 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 group. This should be a group with uh, the few best parabolic elements uh, isomorphic to C. So that that's a minimal parabolicity. And uh, th this is just the final term. This this, this uh, I have already defined. It. So uh, so you, well the so if if G doesn't contain uh, rank to uh, abelian subgroup, this means just there's no parabolic element. So that, that, that gamma should be purely monic. Okay, so you can find, so if, it, if G doesn't contain a uh, uh, rank to abelian uh, subgroup, this means you can find the geometric finite gradient of result parabolics. That means gamma is convex or compact, and uh, G is contained in certain formation. So that's what we're going to do in the process of So what are you in the proof? If you take a group, I mean, how do you produce it? Is it your it, it's, it's, a, it's a, a step of induction in, a, in the uniformization theorem, actually. So uh, the proof is the same as the uniformization theorem. You can, you should cut the, the uh, so, so you, you, if you have G, then you consider the uh, uh, three manifold, P3 of G, and you have a compact core by by theorem of uh, Scott. And what you consider is uh, to put the hyperbolic structure on that manifold. So that's by, done by uh, induction. So because it, it has a boundary, it is harder. So you, you have a hierarchy for that. So you cut the, the three manifold along the incompressive surface and you go on the process and you you reach uh, union balls. So starting from union balls, you, you just uh, paste the uh, hyperbolic structure using the, the skinning map or something like that. And uh, eventually, you get the uh, convex core compact or, or generic finite uh, structure on, on that map. That's what we want. Okay. So, uh, but so if the group is geometrically finite, then you can consider the uh, quasi conformal deformation space, which is a subset of the entire deformation space. So, you can consider the uh, quasi conformal deformation space. So, uh, well, I talked about the uh, quasi conformal deformation in the, in the framework of surface group and quasi Hookian groups, but I, I haven't defined uh, formally uh, the quasi conformal deformation. So I, I should define it here. So, uh, that, so this is a group, the set of groups, um, gamma G, yeah, um, gamma prime, such that they exist. Uh, quasi uh, conformal homeomorphism so 
uh, on the Riemann sphere, which conjugates G on oh, no, gamma to gamma prime. Well, we, we naturally uh, identify two groups which are conjugate to each other. Uh, so uh, then uh, this space, this set of well, is a subset of a uh, of the Okay, so the topology of this space is uh, just a relative topology in this domain of the subject. This is a subset. Okay, so uh, the problem, the, the question six uh, can be interpreted as the following question. So the, the question six is the same as uh, the following question. Is AH gamma um, is the union of QH gamma uh, the closure of QH gamma, gamma of prime, but maybe well, I use the gamma prime here, so uh, maybe something different. Uh, I, 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 I use GH, that's something probably gamma, gamma naught, okay. Where the gamma naught is, uh, is uh, minimally. Public, geometrically finite group uh, in the gamma prime, a gamma node is uh, isomorphic to gamma of the group. So here, here uh, the con you can uh, conjecture or uh, interpret the conjecture of the question is uh, AH of gamma is equal to the QH gamma bar because in general, um, there are two Kranian groups uh, which are isomorphic to each other as groups, but uh, the quotient manifolds are not homo homeomorphic. So in such a case, you cannot expect the H gamma is equal to the closure of the QH gamma. Because uh, there's some, uh, another comp there, there should be another component of the QH, quite a component information, which is distinct from that. Okay, so this, this is uh, 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 the interpretation of question six. So, so you, the H uh, of gamma is the, the orbits of gamma of your conjugation. Yeah. yeah. yeah so you, it's the orbits. Mm, sorry. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, but you. you well, it, this is conjuga conjugation in the in the field yeah, But you take the quotient, the relation. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and actually, um, this is true. Actually, this is now theorem. Uh, actually, H gamma is uh, well. This is true. Um, this was proved by uh, Block and Gomba in the case of the surface group and the. Uh, but more generally for freely in the composable groups. This means uh, there is no free product decomposition of the group. So uh, for general case, it is uh, na Namaji, Soto, and myself independently uh, who broke the, the this. Actually, the most difficult case is when the gamma is a free group. And uh, so uh, both Namaji and Sotan, uh, I have to spend uh, much time to deal with the free group case. So uh, this is number six. So in general, you have a union. So how many, in this family, how many unions? 
Well, it depends on the on the <laughs> on the gamma. So, um, so suppose the difference uh, the covariance the cucumber makes no difference. Sorry. Suppose you have a representation with a. Oh, oh no, it's fine. Well, 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 when when gamma, for instance, when gamma is a free group, yes. there's only one component. Oh, I see. Okay, and so also when, when gamma is a surface group, yes. there's only one component. Oh, I see. Okay, so uh, the problem is something in between. Oh, okay. So uh, this this uh, is well related to the problem of the. Uh, making a homotopy equivalence to a homeomorphism. Uh -huh. And uh, there's a long uh, story about that. And uh, there's a theory of uh, Johansson, uh -huh. which, is, uh, uh, which is contained in a book in a uh, Springer lecture note of uh, something like uh, 500 pages, uh, where he proved that the, 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 the homotopy equivalence, which is not homeomorphism, is generated by some some kind of relation. So, uh, corresponding to that, uh, there, there, there appear the distinct components in a quasi multi-conditions case. Okay, that, that is uh, the question six. And now, the um, let me tell you about the Question seven, and maybe question twelve. Okay. So uh, now question seven. So uh, question seven was asking the uh, how well how to uh, develop the theory of the short case space and the limits and uh, analogous to. Uh, so let me tell you what what the shot key do. What shot shot key do? What shot key does? So uh, um, the classical definition of shot key group is something like this. You take uh, well, you fix some number g, which is greater than two, okay. and you draw. Uh, um, 2G, well, maybe the G pairs of the Jordan domains so uh, on the, on the C hat, something like this. So uh, G, G1. So they, they are all disjoint. But there's one condition that dj prime is uh, 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 so there, there, there is a, a conformal automorphism that is a linear fractional fractional transformation or maybe it's transfor transformation of the three mass square i which sends the d1 so send, sending d1 to the the complement of d no dj to the complement of dj right so there there is a um Maybe it's transformation taking this to the outside of this. So that the complement of this is conformal to the interior of this. Maybe because this is J, J, so I should write pi J. And consider a group generated by. Uh, pi 1 up to pi g. Okay. 
then, then, well, it's not so difficult to show the group is G. So it's not difficult to show that G is discrete and free. The such a group is called the shot. And also we can show that uh, shot key group this, this, I, I think this is true in my math that the uh, shot key group is the same as the uh, 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 convex to compact three parameters. So it's easy to see um, this such a group, the short key group is convex to compact. But what's difficult is the other way around. So uh, you have to show that the, the any convex co for any convex co compact free group, you can find uh, such. Job so, um, in the class of the construction, I want to think of all the ball, the ball. I think something more general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is general. So, so you can find that. Uh, yeah, you, you can consider that case when uh, these are all, all the, the um, yeah, all the disks. Yeah. So, in this case, you produce more groups than only taking this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the the, the case when uh, these uh, disks are called the classical shot group. Uh -huh. And uh, this is uh, the general Ashoki group, and uh, it was shown that, uh, that there is a non classical Ashoki group. Okay. So uh, this construction is more general than the. Okay, so there exists the. There exists a Ashoki group which cannot be obtained by, uh, by disks. Now, so uh, the formation theory of Alpha's bears uh, about the function group uh, works also for uh, Schottky space, Schottky groups. So uh, you can consider that, well, maybe that the Schottky space, the Schottky space is the space of the marked, marked Schottky group. So two short key groups. So, so we, we you fix some free group, and uh, you consider a short key group, and uh, isomorphism from the, the fixed free group to the short key group, and uh, you consider two short key groups are same if there, there is uh, uh, it, it's like a tight middle space. So there is isomorphism from the one short key group to another, which which commutes with the the given map. <coughs> The Schottky group depends only on G, or it depends on also on the choice of domains. Well, the, 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 well, it depends on the domain. So you, you consider all the Schottky groups. So fix G, and you consider all, all the possibility of the Jordan Jordan curves, and that is that 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 is the, 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 this what this means. So you consider all the Schottky groups, and uh, you just. Uh, uh, consider the quotient by conjugacy as usual. Then you get uh, something called short key space. And uh, so your marking is essentially amounts to the ordering of the generator. Ordering of the generator, right? Okay. So uh, then the alpha of their theory shows that there is uh, um, there is a map from the tight middle space of genus G. Well, this, this is the tight middle space of the closed genus G surface to a uh, short space, which is a covered.
So uh, how, how you can obtain, uh, how, how can you obtain uh, such a map? So uh, you, well, as in the case of the quadruction loop, you consider a limit set. So, so suppose G is a short people. Then you consider the limit set. Uh, lambda G of the short field group, and uh, it's complement. G is the one G. And then you consider the um, Riemann surface like this. And uh, this is uh, a closed surface of G. And uh, the vacuum surface here. Well, so if you have a Schottky group, then you have a marking. So you have a mark. Well, you lift the marking to a surface, and that gives a point of a particular space up to some ambiguity. But there's no uniqueness of the lifting of the marking, so it there's some ambiguity. So uh, the covering translation group corresponds to the, the the choices of mark choices of lift of marking. Well, what I mean is like, like this. So you, you, you consider that, for instance, the union of the uh, uh, hyperbolic space and the domain of this continuity and divide it by G. Then you get the handle body of G plus G. Uh, whose boundary is uh, SG. And the marking of the Schottky group gives a uh, marking of the uh, axis like that. So you, you, you have a marking here. But you cannot decide what you have as a marking of, 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 of this curve, for instance. Because it, 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 it represents a trivial element in a, in a, in a fundamental level of uh, handle So there are many choices of lifting. You can lift this as this, as this, or you can lift this as this, for instance. Or you can go around many times <laughs> and many times. So, so there are infinitely many choices of the lifting, and this corresponds to the covering translation. So how about this? If you start with your point of measurement of speed, how do you get a shot? So you, you, you just put the, uh, the uh, conformance of your work, work of the structure corresponding to that, to yeah. here. No, but my question is, I mean, you, said, I mean, you started with a hyperbolic surface. Now how do you get a short group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you put the, uh, the hyperbolic surface here and there. Then it's, it's obtained by, uh, so you, you consider some fixed short group, for yeah. instance. Then you have some hyperbolic structure here. So that means the conformal structure here on, on the boundary, yeah. not inside, in, on the boundary. So if you compare the, the conformal structure on the boundary on, on here and there's some fixed short group, one is obtained from the other by a quasi-conformal deformation. So you can extend this quasi-conformal deformation to, uh, the, uh, to the uh, entire sphere, mm -hmm. and you get the deformation, quasi-conformal deformation of the original short group. That's what you get as a point. Every human surface can be deformized by a chocolate group. Yeah, yes. Because this, this, this because of this. So. <laughs> In the, in the entire deformation space. So uh, he's asking if the, you can find uh, such a criterion of convergence even for the Schottky space. So uh, let, let me just uh, remind you of the double limit theorem. So 
So uh, the the well the general statement of Darwin experiment is something like this. So uh, you have a sequence in the product of two tight of space, and you assume um, MI converges to some point in the well, well, I, I, I I don't have enough time to define the first one complication of the high metal space. But uh, the, the, the uh, notion of certain complication in high metal space, where the high metal space is compactified by attaching the uh, projective major foliation space or projective major lamination space. They, they are the equivalent. So, projective, projective Measured foliation space. So th this is a measured foliation. The measured foliation is a, uh, it's a, like a, a trajectory of the uh, quadratic definition. So it's a, a foliation on the surface with uh, isolated similarities. Uh, having a transverse measure. Okay. And uh, in a converter view, in the classical complication, well, th th this is not the, uh, the constraint. Uh, because uh, after uh, passing to subsequent, because this is a complication, after passing to uh, subsequent, it, it converges subsequent. This just says that uh, uh, it doesn't converge inside that. And the uh, second condition makes that. Uh, Lambda and mu are, are rational. This is um, difficult to define, it, but uh, it means uh, um, lambda is minimal. Uh, minimal means that uh, every, so if you consider the closure of a leaf, then uh, it's uh, the entire correlation. That, that is the minimality of the correlation. And uh, for any simple code curve C, the intersection number of the C and lambda, that, that, that is the, uh, the C measured by the transverse measure of the lambda, is positive. So this, this, this is the definition of a rationality of the lambda. So that, the same for mu. And uh, well, this is the one. And the third is the, if you integrate the one foliation by the other, then by the transverse of the other, then it's a point. So you don't know because it's rational. Sorry? It's, it's irrational. A rational. A rational. No, it's not irrational, but a rational. <laughs> Rational means rational means a simple closed curve. So, so rational means there is a closed leaf. Then uh, the the double limit term says then the QF of MI and I converges well up to some sequence uh, to uh, the inner A. Uh, the following. So, oh, to, to state that, I have to define uh, 
something for the major number. So uh, you consider a surface which is uh, boundary of a handlebar. So as in the situation of short people, uh, you consider a handle body and uh, uh, regard surface as its boundary. Then um, you consider a set of uh, uh, multiple, maybe weighted multiple, uh, each of whose component bounds a disk in edge. So this, this is in edge. But uh, this is the subject of major solution space. So, or a major denomination space. So I, I mean this. So you have a curve like that. So this is the handle body and this is the bound of the handle body. Then suppose this as this, the simple code called bound disk. And well, here again, it has a bound, bound disk. So you consider alpha beta like that. And that's something, the, the combination of alpha beta, like uh, uh, 3 alpha plus uh, uh, square root of the E, <laughs> something like that. Then that, that's an element of the of C. Okay. And, and, and how you regard this as a major polyation? Then that means you, you consider a major polyation consisting of the uh, closely uh, parallel to alpha and beta, and uh, put the measure so that the the, the transverse measure of the uh, entire or all the leaves parallel to alpha is three, and the transverse measure of all the leaves parallel to uh, beta uh, uh, square root. Then that's how you look at that. So uh, you consider such a subset of the major position space and take the closure. So this, this is the closure. And our major domain <laughs> is uh, uh, the major foliation. And uh, in the subset of major combination space, so uh, consisting of the uh, element such that uh, the intersection number with uh, any element of the closure of C is positive. So it, it means that uh, the major the, for, as the foliation D keeps. Uh, all the compression curves of the of the handle body. Now I can state the uh, the analog of W theorem of short space. Then the image of this. So 
because I, we have a parameterization of short key space by the tightening of this. This converges. So this sequence converges up to the orientation of the sequence. Uh, in the in the def uh, deformation space, that, so that is the AH of the free field. So this is the free field. So uh, this is uh, an analogy of the W term for particle space. So. Uh, as a, so in the, in the case of W limit theorem, so you, you have to deform the uh, one, uh, you have two structures, up, up and down, so that you, you have to consider the deformation such that uh, the structure on the top uh, combines to some lamination, which intersect essentially with the, uh, the, 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 the limit of the structure. Uh, at the bottom. So uh, now you have uh, only one component. So uh, so what corresponds to the, the, the this uh, di well, the anti diagonality is uh, this. So uh, you have to consider the uh, limit, which is uh, which has essential intersection with the uh, trivial curves, the compression curves. So that, that's what it says. Okay, so uh, I, I don't have time anymore, but uh, let me just tell you what, what, uh, how, how to, what, what the number eight. So the number eight is analyze the, uh, the limit of Cauchy-Fuchsian group with parabolics. So that, that, well, that, so uh, there might be some uh, different interpretations of the uh, for the question, but the, the author interpreted this question as a uh, analyze the geometric limits of construction. And uh, so Kartoff and Sarston constructed some uh, uh, some geometric limit which is not equal to the algebraic limit. That, that's the first example. And uh, actually, today it is possible to uh, uh, classify all the geometric limits of five picture classification of the geometric limit of classification that, that was done by, by myself and Soma recently. So that, that should be the, well, one of the answer. One, one, of, the, one of the answer to the, uh, well, an, an, an answer to one of the interpretations of the question. Eight, maybe. <laughs> okay. So uh, I should stop here. So, so, so that, that, that this is the fine, final lecture. My final lecture. So thank you very much. <laughs>